Let's go to some yard sales. But it's so smoky, you can actually see it in the air. So all that is coming from California wildfires. And my valley is like a bowl. It's like a bowl of mountains. Like, and so it just traps here. And there's people running around in this stuff. Anyway, let's see what we can find out here. See, there's back, one back over this way. This is the west side of town. I used to play basketball in this place. Um, anyway, this is the west side of town that I've got to go to, and you will find a lot of older money there and uh, estate-type listings. So let's head over. See, all you got to do in my town is follow the signs. Oh, I'm busted. I do not have my seatbelt on. Right across from our city's new uh, fire station. So at this point, it's about 9.30 in the morning and all of these sales have been going for, who knows, an hour or two. So I just got three board games for a dollar a piece. Now back up to the main drag to find some more signs. Once that's done, I'm gonna get onto the yard sale treasure map. See what I missed. So right now I am about an hour late, um, but that's fine to me. I feel like you get better deals when you wait about an hour, honestly. Okay, now we're on the east side of town, and uh, this is up on the hill, kind of, and you got your younger money, and you got your debt. People are tighter, and they don't have much vintage stuff. I don't know. We'll go see. Back over to the west side of town, if you want to know what the west side of the town looks like, probably more cows down here than there is people. So in my town, all the cool, cool kids live up on the east side. And everybody else lives on the west side, right? Guess where the best yard sales are? On the west side, that one on the east side just now. I actually know that guy. He's a really good businessman. But um, the yard sale wasn't for me. The destination is on your right. 5430 North, 800 West. So if you're from a city, you might not see things like this. You got corn on one side, nothing but alfalfa for miles and miles on the other. In my smoky little valley. Guess what? Yard sales suck today. Really, they do. Probably just gonna go home here in a minute. So, as you can see, there's like five in my valley that are on the map. So out of boredom, I look at Salt Lake County, which has over a million people in it. Two million people on the Wasatch Front and just drooling I mean look at all the opportunity oh, gotta get me some coffee if we're gonna last much longer in this game 10 cents a book okay so I'm gonna get 10 random ones and see what happens So I drop, yeah, I just drop off all your stuff from receiving at the hospital. Oh, at the hospital! Yeah. Okay, so that one I got around 70 or 80 books, cost me $7.20. I kind of lost track. Um, there are multiple books in there that I'll give 10 to $14 for. So that one should pay for itself many times over. They were just asking 10 cents a piece. Okay, now we're in the next town over and I'm just following a sign. This is Hyde Park, Utah. 
And again, this one is half west side and half east side. So let's find this place. Oh, private community, I see. I didn't know this existed. And I'm a long time resident. Actually, I've moved around a lot. That's probably why I don't know about it. Let's check it out. I don't suppose they know the sprinklers are going off. All right, I'm so excited I had to pull over. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm standing there. I'm standing there and this guy's telling me, man, this lady came up, she had a uh, antique store. She came up at seven o'clock and bought everything. And I'm like, all right. So we started looking around at games and he's like, yeah, 50 cents a piece. I'm like, cool. Then his daughter comes out she's like you know what I should go get my old Nintendo and all those games and I'm like yeah I'll buy every single bit of it off of you are you crazy <laughs> so I am going to this is gonna be this week's guessing game I know I said an early one but this is this is the guessing game how much did I pay for the Nintendo the Nintendo 64 there is five six games and controllers okay whoever is closest by the time i post my next vid which should be monday night or tuesday morning um i will give you i'll give you your choice of two rolls of tape or um maybe like a xbox controller or nintendo 64 you pick good luck okay let's go home and we are going to go over the hall Hey girls, I thought you were lost. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here, Pearl. Come in. Yeah, good girls. Come in. Okay, let's get the chickens in and we will go over what we bought. Good girls. Hey, how are you? If you never own chickens, you just clap on your leg and they will come running. Don't. How much money do you want? $3. Three dollars. What are you going to do for me? Or five dollars. All right. Welcome back to Man Cave. A uh, little hint on that guessing game. It was just the cash I had left in my pocket. Um, so it's it wasn't an even number. There's your hint. It was an odd number. Okay. So let's go through what I got. Okay. So um, five hours later, um, my employee Cindy showed up for her first day. I got her squared away. I took her over an iPad uh, to her house so she can use my eBay account. Um, and I went to another yard sale and my source hit me up again. So um, the title of my video does not include the Nintendo stuff. So when you're guessing, keep that in mind. Okay, so to recap, we got this for an undisclosed amount. Um, it was a really good deal. So don't guess in the hundreds, <laughs> if I were you. Okay, so what I spent from here to there, okay, that was $7.20. Okay, this right here was $6 for all those games. Okay, this was all free. And that's my, that's my yard sale stuff there, okay? That does not include this all this stuff which oh there's more okay so all this my source hit me up 
Um, I gave her 20 bucks because I felt bad. She said I could just have all these. I mean, come on. You know? <laughs> she said I could have all these and this. I'm like, you know, I've got all these DVDs. This, the shoes. There's a camera in here. All these DVDs. I gave her 20 bucks. I mean, she helps me out a lot and it was cool of her. Okay, as you see, uh, if I uploaded that video of the books, um, every book was 10 cents, okay? Uh, the hardback of this one, the cheapest I found listed was $99.99. Um, so I'm gonna put this one at like 95, see what happens. Um, there is a bunch of books like this that I assume to be very hot. I don't know. I have looked up a few others. There's some uh, collectibles. So like I said, 10 cents a piece. There's some brand new ones. There's a lot of authorized or authorized authors that have signed um, some of these books. We got things like principles of accounting. Those ones don't go um, get old as fast as some others. Some of those are timeless. Um, we've got some like audio books. This is like something, uh, software. So like I say, some of these are brand new. Some of these are signed. If you can see this Bible, I've got my other one listed for $100 with the um, dictionary. You guys must have seen that. You've got some older collectible, um, like these guides to the United States. And then you've got like some James Patterson, that kind of stuff's always, always sellable. Um, and the shipper gets cheap shipping. The, sorry, the buyer. Um, anyway, some pretty good ones. Okay, and mind you, like, I got there at, like, 1.30. I mean, if I would have got there earlier, who knows what would have happened. The games, I have gone through all these. Some of these are really good games. They're not your run-of-the-mill. Um, like, Hangman, that's, like, a $15 game. This is the Deluxe Edition Monopoly, which will get about 40 bucks. Uh, the Pigmania, don't even know. Boggle, don't even know. Um, all these were 50 cents. There was a couple that were a dollar. Um, that's a good game. So, I can't find a direct comp for this Daewoo. It looks like it was a rental. Um, and I don't know, I've seen them, I've seen comps all the way up to like four and $500 for like Sony. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna say it's gonna be like the 80 to $100 range. It is a player and also a tuner or a recorder. Like I said, it was free. Um, oh, let me interject the little free vid real quick. It's right here. It's called Somebody's Attic 2. And they have a bunch of free bins out front. As you can see, that's my local uh, little thrift shop. And half of the stuff that's coming in, they're putting out for free on the front road. Like this puzzle. 20, 20 or 25 bucks for this right now plus shipping. Um, I've been to that castle in Bavaria. It's a pretty cool castle, Neuschwanstein. Okay, all these cross-stitch, vintage cross-stitch. Uh, yeah, these were listed for $8 back in the 80s. Some of these I think are gonna do well and others not so much. But I expect, I expect about $200 between this and all these. I, call me crazy. But these are the kinds of things that are selling right now. They really are. All vintage, like way vintage. Um, something your grandma would have in her house. But I don't know. I might be crazy. You know, I think these will get, you know, eight bucks or something. And then I've got some Xbox cords. This one was Craftsman control tape cable. Those are like 30 bucks, I think. Hmm. So... I don't know, call me out if you think, but I, I think that I have $400 there. I think I have $400 there. So that, my friends, is taking 13 and transforming it into 400. That's why I go garage sale shopping and that's why I flip things. And that's why I hired an employee. Okay, if you wanna go over some of this, we can, I guess. We have some of these, always watch out for NCAA. This is not the one that's 150 bucks. This is like 10 or 20. But you got like Need for Speed, which is a good one. And then a whole bunch of others like Tekken. That's a good one. Grand Theft. Okay, this I expect to do well. Let me look it up quick.
So I expect that to probably give us around, if I want to do free shipping, probably around 50 bucks. These were going for between 10 and 20 in good condition. Some of them are unopened. So I don't know anything about the curlers. I don't know anything about the shoes. I don't know anything about the videos. I don't know anything about this nasty glove. Okay. Reseller, I hope you know about these. I don't know what's supposed to go there. Oh, I think there's a power thing in the back somewhere down the bottom. But anyway, um, I've got a couple hundred dollars here, which uh, is a really good flip for what I paid. Maybe even more. This Nintendo working should go for like 70. And some of these games are cool. 007 is always a hot one. Cruising USA. So anyway, I'm going to end this video now because you guys have much better things to do on a Saturday. I hope you got out and... Uh, and uh, got some good stuff. So please, uh, in your comments, if you'd like me to visit and save your uh, eBay store, please leave a, a comment with your link. I'm trying to save all my eBay and YouTube friends and I want to purchase one item from somebody every week. So if there's something I need, I'm gonna look through stores and try to buy something from you. Um, I think it'll help sales for everybody. Um, hopefully somebody will do that for me once in a while. And uh, yeah. Good luck on the guessing. I mean, I might even just give you like a $25 in-store credit. How about that? So take care, guys. Never stop, never settle. Get out and get some stuff. And we will talk to you later.